All right, folks, this is Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Criminal Case on Facebook. Case number 51, it all ends here. Heading on to chapter number four, where we're going to figure out where the election results are in. The battle was fierce, but a party has emerged victorious. It gives me great pleasure to announce that our new mayor is Howard Johnson. Well done, my son. I'm proud of you. Aw, oh, I'd been hoping Mrs. Price would win. I voted for her. And you were right to do so, Mr. Policeman. But don't worry, the Blue Party will still be there to fight every decision taken by the so-called mayor. Dear townspeople, I, Howard Johnson, am extremely honored to have been re-elected mayor of Grimsboro. Together with the Red Party, we will pave the way to a better city, a, a safer city. Ace, a word please? I know I'm currently not in a position of power, but I wanted to make sure you did not forget your duty. Now that Howard Johnson has been re-elected, it's more crucial than ever to figure out who dared kill Adam in his headquarters. I'm counting on you to close this case quickly. <coughs> Counting on you to close the case quickly. Easier said than done. I'm sure Howard will be even less cooperative than before. And honestly, I'm at a loss for where to search next. Lead Inspector Ace, if I may, I got both your missing right-handed suspects. Howard and Martha both fit that criteria. And, um, Mr. Marconi is also right-handed and is Mrs. Johnson. And that's about it. Progress. Finally. Good idea, Ace. Let's have a look around the election stand. Let's crack this case once and for all. So everyone is right-handed, that does not shock me, except for me, so it obviously was not me. If you guys would like, if you guys could throw a like down below, and you guys are going to see at the end of this video who is the actual murderer, I believe. So we'll see what, we'll see what this all turns out to be. box, jack in the box, wheelchair, protection string, liberty bell, and torn paper. It's torn paper, and I, oh, liberty bell's up there. Sweet. Was like, 10 seconds. That was actually really good. Hmm, this must be Johnson's acceptance speech, but why would he tear it to shreds? you think he'd frame it or something. Can you quickly put this speech back together, Ace? Every second counts. Oh, I'll bet he thought he would have lost. What if he thought he would have lost? Yeah. Wait, I thought this was Johnson's speech, but the version you put back together has got Martha's name on it. I am Martha Price, and I'm extremely honored to have been elected Mayor of Grimsboro. Together with the Blue Party, we will pave the way to a better city, a safer city. Wait, that's the exact speech Howard read, but the winner's name and the party color have been changed. Now, you can't be right, Ace. I mean, I know politicians often share the same ideas, but Martha and Howard were on different sides. Their campaigns were... Well, it was pretty much the same thing in different ways. Martha was for good values and security, Howard against corruption and crime. But Ace, it can't mean... The two parties were working together? I can't believe this. We need to talk to those two liars right now. Let's go. Oh, have you come to rub my f defeat in my face, Lead Inspector Ace? I'm really not in the... You know everything, Martha. Lead Inspector Ace found the speech. We know you and Johnson have been working together. Now, don't be ridiculous. You're blowing this all out of proportion. I unknowingly hired the same speech consultant as Howard. That's all. <clears throat> that little swine thought he could just write a fill-in-the-gap speech and get paid twice for it. When I learned about this, I fired him on the spot. Things like this are the reason I go to the shooting range every week. You know, politicians are constant warfare. Actually, shooting is the only thing that helps me unwind. Look, the inspector, I swear to you, I had nothing to do with this speech or with Mr. Bentley's death. I give you my word of honor. <clears throat> uh-huh. I hate politicians. Ugh, Ace, we do need to keep busy, else I'll just have to hit something. What should we do next? You want to go back to the hotel lobby? Well, good idea. Adam might have left us the final clue to his murder there. Getting up a lot of percentages, actually, which is really nice. Talk to Howard one last time, too. Ah, Lead Inspector Ace, so kind of you to come congratulate me. This has been a grand victory indeed, but... Well, we're not here to congratulate you, Mr. Mayor. We're here to get answers. Why was Martha Price's name written on your speech? Where did you... I tore that one up. How did you get it back? Look, this is nothing. I got two versions of the speech. One with my name and one with Martha's. I don't know how it happened. 
Really? You're sure it's not because you and Martha are working together? Did Adam find out? Or Mr. Mayor? Is that why you killed him? You killed him? I would never do that. I had nothing to do with Adam's death. Lead Inspector Ace, you have to believe me. Please, Lead Inspector Ace, I'll do anything to convince you. Have another look at my offices. You'll see I'm innocent. Oh, don't worry, Mr. Mayor. Searching your office is exactly what we intend to do. Yeah, by the time we actually search these places, we're going to be up at, like, uh, probably almost 50%. Plus, probably a couple 12 hours searching through more stuff. Alright, so we have figurine. Ooh. It's a bloody champagne sandwich. Peacock. Watermelon. I don't see it right away. Counterbell. Where's this watermelon? Oh. I was looking for like a round one, not one that had been eaten out of. What is that bobblehead of Martha Price doing here? You're right. This is the one that she gave to Adam, and there's his name upon the base. That's the one you fixed up for him. But how did this figuring in end up here, and why is it all bloody? Well, you're right. Let's collect a sample from that bobblehead. Uh, yeah. Heck yeah, I'm gonna collect some stuff from that. What do we got here? Shoes, tiara, checkerboard. That's not checkerboard? All right. Shoot, a lot of the stuff I did not find the first time through it. Bowtie, diamond. Noodles, fur, gold medal, boomerang. Oh, checkerboard, eagle, dollar bills, y'all. Oh, down here. Oh, paying people off, man. Oh, there's the eagle. What are those dollar bills doing there? Could this be linked to Adam's murder? Good point, Ace. Maybe your expert hands could collect something from those bills to solve that mystery. Perfect. I think that final clue might actually be this blood. Because what we really need is we really need those those two extra things to, to decipher who the murderer is. Well, collecting blood from Martha Price Bobblehead. I never thought I'd see the day. Anyway, let's get this blood sample to the lab, Ace. see we now nah, there's the 12 hours but if you go over to our suspects we need two more and once we do the two more then then we'll be golden actually we need to do one more crime scene I forgot about that You know what I mean? Like, we have that, the closer inspection of the one place. Good, let's send the molecules you collect from these dollar bills to Grace. Twelve hours. Cause check this out. Oh no, we have, okay, cool, cool, cool. So twelve hours and hopefully we figure out who the murderer is. See you guys all in a little bit. Au revoir. All right, folks, let's figure out who did this. Ace, you've hit the bullseye, as always. There was gunpowder residue mixed with the blood you collected from that bobblehead. This means that the bobblehead was originally on your crime scene before it ended up in the hotel lobby. What? But it couldn't ha can't have gotten there on its own. Seller deduction, Jones. Because the blood on the bobblehead isn't Adams, I'm guessing his killer picked it up, probably hoping to dispose of it later on. I don't know how they hurt themselves, but the result is the same. The killer left their own blood on that bobblehead. The gunpowder played havoc on the clarity of the sample, but I was at least able to determine Adam's killer blood type is an A positive. Great, Ace. Let's add this to our killer's profile. An A plus blood type should help us trim our list of suspects a little bit. I think I'm A B negative, if I, if I if I remember correctly. I know I'm I know I'm an A B. 
The sample you collected from the dollar bills you found in the headquarters turned out to be a mix of saliva and epithelial tissue ace. In other words, skin cells. It wasn't easy to separate the two, but I'm nothing if not stubborn. The saliva on the dollar bills belongs to Adam Bentley. My guess is that he counted the bills, licking his finger to flip through them. So the money was given to Adam, but there were thousands of dollars in that pile. Ace, do you think Adam discovered Johnson and Martha's shared election speech? Could he have tried to blackmail them? Well, here's something that should help. The epithelial tissues on those bills didn't belong to Adam, which means they were left by the person who gave Adam money to his killer. And because I know every minute counts, I went straight for the kill. Adam's killer is a male. Oh, snap. Well, hey, guys, we're about to arrest someone, I believe. So throw down a like button. Well, that's it, Ace. We finally have all the evidence we needed to arrest Adam's killer. No, no, no. Don't tell me who did it. I want to see if my hunch was right. Let's go arrest them, Ace. All right, man, let's figure out who this is. I have a feeling I I might know who it is. Is it you? No, it's not him, obviously. Okay, not him. Not Alden. Oh, snap. Oh, it is the king. Oh my goodness, guys. Holy crap. Oh, this is not good. Oh man, I don't feel like I don't feel right arresting him. He kind of was a jerk, like the last five or six cases, though. I mean, it makes sense, but it's I don't understand. Why did you take us to King's office? I thought we were gonna arrest Adam's killer. No, no, you can't mean. No, Ace, you must be wrong. Chief King would never have killed Adam. You've got it wrong. Unfortunately, Inspector Ace is right. I killed Adam Bentley. No, I refuse to believe this. Why would you do this? Adam would have never harmed the mayor. Oh, Jones, you haven't understood a thing, have you? This had nothing to do with the mayor. Then why'd you do it, Chief? Answer us. Sorry, but no, you will have your an own answers, Lead Inspector Ace. Then you'll have to talk to the judge. I'll have to explain what happened. What? Um... I don't want to press next. Uh, are we, I hope we stop him. Well, what are you doing? Put down that gun, Chief, please. You'll understand why I'm doing this in time. I have no other choice. You gotta be kidding me. Of course you have a choice. There's always a choice, Chief. Please put the gun down. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry. Goodbye, Lead Inspector Ace. Working with you has been a great honor. Oh, snap. What? Oh my gosh, I'm actually getting a little teary-eyed. Oh. Shut the front door. Oh. Oh. Um. <sighs> um, well guys, uh dang. Um this has been Pitching Ace 88 and uh I'll see you guys in the additional investigation. I don't know what's going on, but uh, whew, I'll see you guys later. This has been Pitching Ace 88, over and out.